Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving deep into a game changing solution for SEOs that's going to revolutionize the way you track winners and losers after every Google update. You know what's undeniably boring and time consuming? Mm -hmm. Manually tracking the winners and losers after a Google update. It's a task that can take hours of your valuable time. Am I right? But here's the deal. We can't escape the fact that this tracking is absolutely crucial for our success. So what if I uh, tell you that there is a solution to make your life easier? Introducing the GSC API Python automation. This is the secret weapon that's about to change the game for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a newest Python script that can do what used to take hours in just a matter of minutes. Just imagine. Having over 5 times more data at your fingertips all within 5 minutes thanks to a GSC API Python automation. Sounds too good to be true, right? But before we jump into these juicy details, I want you to remind to hit that bell icon because we have got some mind blowing SEO strategies and tips lined up for you in the coming weeks. So without any further ado, let's get started with the automation. In this section of the video, I'm going to show you step by step guide how you can use a Python script with the GSC API to fetch winners and losers effortlessly. So you will find this documentation link in the description box. So open it and then let's start with the cloud console setup. So you need to set up a new project and in this documentation you will find all the steps that you need to follow. So it starts with the cloud console setup. Then there are certain APIs that you need to enable. First is Google Search Console API, Google Drive API, then authorization screen to get the data populated in the Google Sheets. So once you are done with all the steps which is mentioned in this documentation, if you scroll down, there is a resources section and there you will find one Google Colab link. So open it and please make a copy of it. And in the Google Colab, what are the things that you need to edit? So I'm going to show you that. So just run this code. So it will take some time. So by then you can subscribe to our WordPress channel. So you need to click on this link. Then you will get one authorization key. Click on continue, click on continue, then just copy this authorization code and paste it over here and click enter and you need to give the Google uh, Sheet name. So I'll be sharing the name of that Google Sheet. Then you need to execute the second code. So for now, I'm going to fetch the data for our WordPress website. So just enter the GSC property name. Then uh, how many days of data you want to fetch? So I'll take 30 days for now. And I need the data for uh, India. So the ISO code for India country is IND, sorry my bad. Then I need the data of mobile users. Uh, if there's any reject filter you want to apply, so for now, for experiment purpose, let's apply a link and uh, click enter to exclude the filter. And done. So once you are done with both of these codes, so what you need to do is just go to runtime and run all. So once you click on run all, the Google sheet that you have created in the step third or fourth, all the data will be populated over here. So let's see if there's any uh, output we are getting over Google Colab or not. Okay, I think again we need to set up the uh, authorization code. Let's set up that. Co 
copy and I'll paste it over here. Then I'll paste the sheet name. Then WordPress or website. 30 India mobile link and random for now to exclude as you saw after a certain edits I clicked on runtime and run all and boom all the data have been populated to Google Sheets. So it starts with the winner section, which have which is like queries with a positive impact on clicks, URLs with a positive impact on clicks, and so on. So in the first section, you will find all the winners part, and if you scroll right to it, you will find the losers part as well. See how simple it is. With just a few lines of code, you will be able to access a treasure trove of data that will help you make informed decisions in the ever-changing SEO landscape. But why choose the GSC API Python automation over other methods? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. First, it's lightning fast, no more wasting hours on manual tracking. Second, it's accurate, you will get real time data to make precise adjustments. And third, it's user friendly. Even if you are not a coding expert, you just need to head over to Google Colab, make certain edits, and runtime, run all, and boom, the data is going to populate over Google Sheets. So after each and every update, or migration you don't need to check what are the pages queries which have a winners and losers part so whether you are a SEO guru or just starting out this tool is designed to simplify your life to sum it up the GAC API Python automation is a game changer for SEOs and we are here to make your life easier remember to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and share it with your fellow SEOs and all the social media handles are present in description box so make sure to follow us on social media as well and stay tuned for our next video where we dive even deeper into the world of SEO thank you for watching and until next time keep optimizing keep winning and keep rocking the SEO world see ya bye